this thing, whenever it's running, its climate control is pumping out heat. So it's trying to keep the cabin temperature warm. So I have to open windows just to drive this thing because heat is pouring out of the air outlets even though everything is off. This vehicle only ever tries to do climate control. You can't just turn it all off for some reason. I went through all the settings and the menus. I can't find out how to just turn everything off. So what I did is with all the sensors pulled out, I started up the vehicle, turned on the AC, and uh, ran it for a few minutes and then turned it off. Then I plugged all the sensors back in and put everything back the way it should be. And now I'm running it and it's really cold. So my AC is fixed. So the deal, so I had an external temperature sensor that was gone. I replaced it. I think maybe something down here like needed to be powered off while the vehicle was on, some sort of reset something. So I went down there, unplugged a bunch of the sensors, powered this on, let it run for a minute or two with everything, you know, jacked where it's supposed to be, AC on, fan on, obviously nothing was happening. Then I turned it all off, plugged all the sensors back in the way it should be, turned it back on, and now I get AC. Okay, so we have three bolts. This is the blower, a few other plugs around here, but we're going to unplug all this stuff. And an easier way to get at all this is to remove the glove box. You just pull the handle, it comes down, and then you wiggle it, and it literally just comes off. It takes like a second to get it out, and then you have access to uh, the upper parts in here. So there's two of them, right? And as you can see, they're twist off mounted. So they're in their socket, you twist them and pull out. Uh, it looks like they won't come out, but they do actually come out, it's pretty easy. So we're gonna do some tests on these. Okay. So there's a white plug back right in behind. Okay, you can just see the end of it. That white plug needs to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then when you pull it out, you've got to remove the black plastic so you can get the white tab out. That should be your evaporator temperature sensor. All right, so I've gone ahead and done a little digging. Uh, I pulled the two temperature sensors out and they're both registering 3000 ohms of resistance. Uh, this evaporator sensor, I believe is what it is, uh, is also registering 3000 ohms of resistance. So what I did is, with all the sensors pulled out, I started up the vehicle, turned on the AC, and uh, ran it for a few minutes and then turned it off. Then I plugged all the sensors back in and put everything back the way it should be. And now I'm running it, and it's really cold. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, head up the channel. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Whew. That, I'm not going to lie to you, my elbows on that carpet, that carpet hurts worse than stones laying outside underneath the car. <laughs>